Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Blunt Saggy Tarot. My name is Robin. And Scorpio, today we are going to do a What You Need to Know reading. So we're going to find out what you need to know right now, what messages you need to hear, what guidance you need from the spirit realm, what they want to say to you, Scorpio. So spirit guides, Scorpio, what is it they need to know right now? Let's talk about you. Unfinished business, so you need to know something ain't over, <laughs> right? Let's see what this is. What is this unfinished business? Is this on your end? Or is this something someone else has with you? Let's talk about this. So, spirit guides, what's unfinished for Scorpio? What do they need? Whoa. The tower and the ten of wands. The two of swords. All right, Scorpio. So here you are in your energy. The tower is Scorpio energy. So lots of change. The ten of wands. The two. Okay, the page of wands in reverse. Whoa. Death and rebirth. There you are again. Definitely strong in your energy. The empress in reverse. Pairs are flying out, but they're like one by one here. <laughs> the lovers in reverse. And Scorpio, I apologize if the quality or if the cards are blurry. I dropped my camera, <laughs> and so it died. And I'm just waiting for a new one to come in the mail. The store didn't have any, so um, I'm just waiting. So I'm using this for now. I apologize in advance. I hope it looks okay. So let's talk about you. This, the Tower and the Ten of Wands. That's the recent past. So something has been a journey. Something has been a long journey. What do you want to say about this Tower? Whoa. The Moon in Reverse the page of wands and the queen of swords so page of wands is upside down here so upright so you found something out about this page of wands here this could be a water or a water sign what am i saying and a fire sign aries leo sag could be somebody younger than you somebody a little immature but definitely they told you something and it shook you it changed it really burdened you this is a person that you have a history with this is someone that you've known for a while and you had to cut them out. They put you in Queen of Swords mode here, Scorpio. So, um, whoa, whoa, you both are, um, I'll tell you that. You both are equally upset. You're on different pages. They're going this way. You're going that way. I feel like there's healing and wishing. And, and there. yeah, you both went your separate ways here. You both felt that that was what was best. So you went your own way. But this is not over, clearly. We'll find out whose ends. But um, this is a cold, cold couple. Both of them came out like this, back to back. They're back to back. They're not on the same page. They're looking at things completely differently. Um, and, ha and let's just say things were said. I'll say that. There's the, yeah. So you found a few things out about this person and it caused, it caused an argument. So the two of swords here is this crossroads in the present energy. That's the past. So the present is the two of swords here. What do you want to say about this for Scorpio? Because what you need to know is it's not over. So why? What do they want to say about that? Two of swords. What's this crossroads here? What do you want to say about this? There's this page of wands again. <laughs> the seven of pentacles, the ace of wands in reverse, and now the queen of pentacles in reverse. So um, you don't know if you want to keep working on this or if you want to give up on this. So whatever happened, is it really over? Is it really the end? And is that the end of this? Um, you don't know. But I do feel like you're pretty tired, Scorpio. I feel like you're pretty exhausted. You don't know. Uh, what direction to go whether you want to invest more time in this or whether you want to just cut this off but the page of wands in reverse has upset you i feel like they definitely said some things that hurt you um ah, hold on i dropped that <laughs> see i got butts of fingers i drop everything i don't know some people call it dropsies it's really annoying the six of wands they really want your attention though they miss you but they feel um the emperor woo and there's the high priestess in reverse they're very hurt so are you you are both hurt you're both at, but I feel like with the Ten of Swords here, they want to um, heal things. The, the thing about the Ten of Swords is it's not an, a bad card. It's the end of the pain. The swords are coming out. The sun is coming up. So they want to heal things. They are coming up as a fire sign. Here's, they could be an Aries or have a lot of fire or passion in their chart. Sorry, a lot of fire <laughs> in their chart or a lot of passion and lust for you. But they want your attention, Scorpio. They do miss you. Um, it's not over for them. So they want to transform things. You're on their mind a lot. They're very disappointed here. What do you want to say about this? Yeah, they're not letting this go. Yep, they're not letting this go. Um, they're not, they're refusing to accept the situation. They're refusing to accept that it's over. Uh, they don't want this to be over. Nope, they want to work on this. So, um, lovers in reverse. Yeah, see, they want to work on this. So what do you want to say about the lovers in reverse? exactly <laughs> they want to find a way to work and fix this so they want to they want to 
come out of the obstacles. They want to solve these problems, get out of these rocky waters and move forward into harmony and peace. They consider you their soulmate, their soul. This is a card of twin flames, but this is a happy home, celebration, marriage, couples, love, happiness. So they want to get back there with you. They want to be at peace. Um, but I also feel like you're, they feel as though you popped your bubble up here and you're going to be really guarded towards them. Uh, they might have said some things to push your buttons or they might have overreacted or something. And um, that's what they want, though. Look. So, Scorpio, you need to know it ain't over. They're trying. They want to come back and heal things with you. So let's get you a few messages and we'll see where you are in a month. So, oh, whoa, whoa, OK, those the way those fell. That's what they want to say to you. Surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions and surrender in healthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Absolutely you do. And let's get your energy oracle message. What do you want to say to Scorpio about this? guys what do you want to say to scorpio what's the message you'd like to pass along please and thank you whoa hold on i got a couple but that one flew so thinking woman in reverse <laughs> happy family and the temple path in reverse so when we overthink about things or when we think about things too much that's when we find ourselves drifting from our path because our thoughts can betray us our thoughts can fool us i feel like there is celebration there is happiness coming whether it's with this or without this person, I'm not sure. But they, yeah, see, overthinking, yeah. Someone's overthinking a lot, Scorpio. Could be you, could be them. Um, I feel like it's a message. I feel like it's a message to you. You might be thinking a lot about this. Um, but to let your heart guide you. Because sometimes our thoughts, they can lead us in the wrong direction. When we overthink and when we think too much, we betray ourselves and we get in our own way. So less thoughts <laughs> um less overthinking less analyzing less feeling this because when we think too we continue to feel it over and over and over um so there's a strong message to just enjoy yourself as you're going through this you could be a message of a reunion this is what they want and now look at it being drawn to the fours you could be seeing 44 um but four is also a message of stability and building strong foundations which is what this person wants to do so let's see what the hidden truth is what does this person want to say that they're not saying and then we're going to get to your potential outcome here scorpio I replay our conversations over and over. So it could be them overthinking. It could be a cross watcher. I had this just in my other reading. I don't usually get cross watcher vibes, but it could be. Someone is definitely overthinking about this. So what do they need to let go of? The person that's overthinking? <laughs> what do they need to let go of? Then we'll get your potential logo. Discard any fears of success and be willing to offer more than is expected of you. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Let's see your potential outcome. So I say potential because there's always free will. And I say outcome, but where are you in a month? Because what you need to know is there is unfinished business. It's not over for this person, but let's see um, what happens and where the cards say you are. So again, there's always free will and potential is a month. So the three of swords was reversed and then it went upside. So let's see what comes out with it. And there you are again. So I'm pulling it that way. So three of swords in reverse, the magician, death. Ace of Pentacles. What's this card? The Seven of Wands. Look at it. It's reversed. And on the bottom is the Two of Wands. So decisions have been made, paths have been chosen. I feel like there's healing, but I still like, feel like there's still healing to do because it came down like that and then it hit it. Um, but I feel like there's healing to do, healing that's happening. But with the Magician, this is about communication and getting through this. This is about communication and working through those issues together. There is a good opportunity here. I feel like you did... Um, Listen and talk it through. I feel like you dropped your guard here, Scorpio. I do feel like you've chosen. Or if you haven't chosen, they're offering you a brand new start. They want this new beginning with you. And this is usually the signifier that you've taken it. With the two of wands. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, you're putting the past behind you. And you're, you're looking forward. So you were able to talk through this. You were able to get through it. It's going to take good communication. This is the card of Hermes. This is the card of messages. Strong communication between you and this other person. Especially if they're... A fire sign they might be reactive they might kind of say things before they think i'm a i have a stellium and sag so i understand that 
<laughs> and being that you're a Scorpio, you're probably not like that. Um, so there could be a communication mishap there or miss way of communicating, but with work, you can work through it. And I do see you trying to work on this together. So it ain't over. And I see you guys trying again in a month. So um, that's what I have. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio. I hope it helped you. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate the support. Helps my channel to grow. Let's get you your final message here to close this off. Take time off. The world will not fall apart without you. So dedicate a day in the future to self-care. Plan a trip to see a new movie or a day at home reading your favorite book. But whatever activity will leave you feeling relaxed and refreshed. Scorpio. Oh, I'm so sorry. My camera dropped. Oh, my apologies. That's what I have for you. I truly hope you enjoyed your reading. I will have a new camera soon. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.